The question of authority has always been a problem, particularly with scientists and dealing with religion. Now, the classic case, which I've read much about and written about, uh, is the Galileo case, which many scientists point to as kind of the archetypal story, if you want the creation story of the conflict, um, in that religious people and particularly in that conflict, are saying this is how it is. And the scientist says, no, this isn't how it is. I will show you an experiment to prove to you why it's not as you think it is. I think most scientists, it's interesting, are spiritual people, but they certainly won't want to label themselves as religious because the term religious brings in you know, the rules and the practices. I actually, in my own opinion, I think it's, I think that's one of the problems we're having in the society is that, you know, we don't, we're having a trouble with authority, but at some level we do have to take some personal responsibility for what we do and how we believe. And so I think when religion has certain guidelines, yes, maybe they may seem incorrect, but at some level some of them are good. And I think anything else, it's like, why do students go to college? Yes, you could go read the book by yourself, but to need that guidance to give you a framework in which to become a scholar, just as the framework in a religion to become a, a religious, spiritual person, I think is important.